Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what are activation functions and what are the different activation functions in artificial neural network. Before we understand uh, the different activation functions, uh, first we will understand uh, why activation functions are required in artificial neural network. Let's assume that a person is performing some task and if you want that particular task should be more efficient and to obtain the correct results, or uh, some force or motivation may be given. So this particular force or motivation helps in achieving the correct results. Similarly, in artificial neural network, uh, first we calculate the net input of the network. Net input is nothing but uh, it is the summation of uh, a product of uh, weight and input. That is nothing but uh, a summation of wi xi, where xi is the input and wi is the weight of that particular uh, uh, age in this case. So once you calculate this uh, net input, what we need to do is uh, we need to apply something called as activation function so that we can get the better results of that particular uh, artificial neural network. So that is the main idea behind uh, having the activation functions in artificial neural network. Uh, now we will discuss uh, uh, each of the activation functions uh, one by one. The first activation function is uh, identity activation function. Identity activation function is also known as a linear activation function because uh, whatever the input we have, the same thing will be the output in this case. For example, uh, let's assume that we have calculated the net input. The net input is uh, equivalent to x. Whenever we apply the linear or identity activation function on the net input, we will get again the same value here. Uh, that is the reason it is called as identity or linear activation function. Usually, we use this uh, identity or linear activation function on the input layer where we don't perform any uh, transformation. Whatever the input is there, the same thing will be transformed to the next layer in this case. This is how we can show the identity activation function in pictorial representation. As the value of x increases, the value of f of x increases linearly in this case. The second activation function is binary step function. Binary step function is defined with this uh, formula f of x is equal to 1 for all x greater than or equal to theta, where x is the calculated uh, net input and theta is the sum uh, threshold value here. If the calculated input is greater than or equal to threshold, the f of x is equal to 1 or the output of uh, binary step function is equal to 1, the output of binary step function is equal to 0 if the calculated net input is less than threshold value here. So it shows that uh, the binary step function value uh, will be either 0 or 1. Uh, it is most widely used in single layer neural networks. So whenever we have a single layer neural network, so usually we use binary step function if we are expecting two results, either 0 or 1 over here. So this is how we can show the binary step function. If the value of x is less than threshold value, the f of x is equal to 0. If the value of x is greater than or equal to some threshold value, f of x is equal to 1. There are only two possibilities in this case. Similar to binary activation function, we have another uh, step function that is known as a bipolar step activation function, which is defined using this formula. In this case, we have again two outputs. One is uh, 1, another one is minus 1. So the bipolar act step activation function is equal to 1 if the calculated uh, net input is greater than equal to again some threshold value. If the calculated net uh, uh, input is less than threshold value, it will be equal to minus 1. So whenever we are expecting two outputs, that is minus 1 and plus 1, we can go ahead with bipolar step activation function. Uh, again, it is used in uh, uh, most widely used in single layer neural networks where we are expecting the two outputs minus 1 or plus 1 in this case. This is how we can show the bipolar step activation function. If the value of x is greater than or equal to threshold value, it will be plus 1. If it is less than threshold value, the output will be equal to minus 1 in this case. The next activation function is a sigmoidal activation function. The sigmoidal activation functions are widely used in backpropagation neural networks. There are mainly two types of uh, sigmoidal activation functions. One is binary sigmoid activation function. Second one is bipolar sigmoid activation function. Binary sigmoidal activation function 
is also known as logistic sigmoid activation function or unipolar sigmoid activation function. The output of a binary sigmoid activation function looks like uh, uh, S shaped and it is defined using this formula f of x is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus lambda x, where lambda is the steepness parameter and x is the net input calculated. The output of uh, this one, that is f of x, will be in the range of uh, 0 to 1 here. And this uh, binary sigma activation function has one uh, peculiar property. The derivative of this function is always equal to steepness parameter, that is uh, lambda f of x 1 minus f of x here. So, this is one peculiar property of binary sigmoid activation function and it can be shown something like this. If the steepness parameter is equal to 0.5, this is how the uh, curve of a binary sigmoid activation function looks like. If the steepness parameter is equal to 1, this is how the curve looks like and so on. The second uh, sigmoidal activation function is bipolar sigmoidal activation function, which is defined using this function. f of x is equal to 2 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus lambda x minus 1, which is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x divided by 1 plus e raised to minus lambda x here. The uh, output of uh, the bipolar sigmoidal activation function will be in the range of minus 1 to plus 1. Binary uh, sigma activation function will be in the range of 0 to 1. It will be in the range of minus 1 to plus 1 over here. Again, uh, it has one uh, peculiar property. If you do the derivative or if you take the derivative of a bipolar sigma activation function, it looks something like this. f dash of x is equal to lambda divided by 2, 1 plus f of x, 1 minus f of x here. And the curve of bipolar sigma activation function looks something like this. If the steepness parameter is equal to 1, this is how the curve will look like. It will start from minus 1, it will go to plus 1 in this case. Similarly, for a different uh, steepness parameter, we will get different curves in this case. The last activation function is known as ramp activation function, which is defined something like this. f of x is equal to 1 if the net input is greater than 1. It is equal to 0 if the net input is less than 0. The output of a ramp activation function is equivalent to the net input that is x if the calculated value or the net input is greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 1 in this case. It can be shown uh, something like this. If the value of x is less than 0, the output will be 0 here. That is the first thing. As the value of x increases starting from 0, the output will be linearly increased in this case. That's the reason f of x is equal to x here. Till what period? Till 1. As the value of x becomes 1, the f of x will become what? 1 here. As the value of x will become 1 here, the f of x will become what? 1 in this case. So, in this video, I have discussed uh, why we need activation function in artificial neural network and what are the different activation functions exist in artificial neural network. I hope the concept of activation functions is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.